This video is all about this guy. This product right here can transform your stream. This thing, why is this thing following me? Go away, go away, go away, run away, run away. No, no, I'm not doing it. Stick the game. No, forget it, forget it, forget it. I'm not doing it, forget it. And no, this is not an ad. This is the Kuspo Heartbeat Sensor. These are absolutely fantastic if you're into games like horror games like myself, or even if you're into fitness or just, just dancing streams. They're a really cool feature and can really transform your streams a lot. First and foremost, this product is available on Amazon for like £20. I will link it in the description right below, so go and check it out. Now, how this works, this connects via Bluetooth to your mobile phone, then to your PC and OBS. That may sound really confusing, so we'll break it down. So, once you've got your heartbeat sensor, you want to go on your phone on iOS or Android and download an app called Pulsoid. I will link it below in the description to check out straight away. But, once you download the app Pulsoid, you want to log in and it will then connect the device together, i.e. sync the Bluetooth. However, to then get it onto your actual OBS, you need to go on the Pulsoid website, at pulsoid.net. Again, link in the description. Once you log into that website, you can log in via Twitch. It's really simple. It'll take you to this. So now you have the Pulsoid dashboard, the main page. This is where you can kind of really configure it and make it your own. The main point you want to look at, though, is the widgets on the left hand side. Here you have a full range of different animations, different widgets, different styles, different colors, loads you can mess around with and kind of put your own little spin on it for your own streams. But the general basics are as follows. Once you kind of figure out what you want to do, i.e. different text and things like that, you want to click on configure. Now here on the left hand side, you can see you can set different ranges for different colors of your kind of heartbeat. So I have from zero to 70 is green, 71 to 110 is orange, and then anything past that is red, kind of like the danger zone. Now, I play a lot of horror games on my stream, so chat try and do a lot of sound alerts and jump scare sounds to see how high we can get the heart rate. But we also do lots of dancing. It's quite good to monitor your heart rate when you are dancing, you're not pushing yourself too much. So again, you can mess around and pick any color you wish, but I've kind of gone with green, orange, and red as a bit of a simple basic. Now, the very simple way to get this onto your OBS is as follows. Here is your browser source at the top. Literally click on copy, open your OBS and add a browser source. Copy that link in and press okay. And literally, hey presto, that is it. It is so simple, really effective. One thing to note though, is this browser source will only be for this widget right here. So if you want to add any further widgets, you then have to add these widgets in. If you want to add the, uh, the actual kind of curve itself, you'd have to configure that. And again, copy that as a separate browser source. So just have a bit of a mess around with it. It's really, really simple. One thing to note though, with this, is when you are first starting it as a start of your stream or start of OBS, what you'll need to do is open the Pulsoid app. So make sure you've got this on your chest, but then open the Pulsoid app. This will just then configure the devices together and kind of connect it via Bluetooth. You don't need to keep the app open though the whole time. You just open the app, the initial kind of sync together, you'll then see it pop up. And as long as you've got the browser source active on OBS, you'll see it pop up in the corner wherever you've placed it, and then you'll be good to go. So just a little tip there, in case you're wondering, Earl, why is it not working? But it's really, really straightforward. So give it a go. Again, these are really cheap. You can get loads of different ones, but this was about 20 pounds. If you're into horror games, fitness, dancing, whatever, honestly, I highly recommend these because I get a lot of questions on how I set it up. If you have any more questions on if you're struggling with it, let me know in the comments below. But I hope this video has helped. Until next time, we'll see you in the next one.